internet friends! Today we are talking about all of the items that I have thrifted or purchased new for my spring summer capsule wardrobe. Now this is mostly a transitional wardrobe so this is something that I am like preparing for summertime. I know it's gonna get so hot out here in Florida so I want pieces that are going to slowly like lean in to that warmer weather. I will try my best to find any like dupes or items that are the same piece only maybe secondhand on Poshmark or eBay. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into all the pieces that I am loving right now for my spring wardrobe. First up, I've already shown this a couple times on my channel. Uh, the Zara striped dress has just been the dream piece for me. I feel like this is so versatile. Not only is it airy and cool, but it also can act as a additional layer piece. So I feel like anything that is long line like this is, can be worn as a duster as well. And I just like the idea of a dual purpose piece. I am so shocked to this day at how much my wardrobe has transitioned into striped pieces. I don't know what it is. I am always a reflection of whatever the thrift stores have available. So like when I lived in Los Angeles, I felt like I was a lot more of like a utility person. And now being in Florida, I feel like, I don't know, I'm like this like, preppy, striped, polo-loving person. I am very fascinated by all of the changes that my wardrobe has gone through, just solely based on the fact that I moved. Yet again, another striped piece. This is a cropped blazer that I wore a couple videos back. I am so picky when it comes to blazers because they do need to be a very like rich quality piece in my eyes, especially being a thrifter and knowing the amount of quality that is available at the thrift store. I was just so hyper aware of the fact that like, this is a little bit thinner piece, you know, it's, it's Zara quality. So it's just not quite at that like top tier level. But the more that I looked at it, the more I fell in love with its structure. I just like the crop aspect of it alone. But when you put it on, it has almost like a, almost like a U shape at the very bottom. And I found that to be very interesting. I really especially liked the shape. And for someone who is in love with high-waisted fit pants. I just felt like this being cropped and then that additional interesting shape to it just made me fall in love with it even more. So that was essentially why I decided to add it into my wardrobe. But then <laughs> I found these pants and if you guys saw the combination on this, I just, I fell in love with this so much. But this is also just another great grab and go piece. I feel like this is something that I can wear out and about. And, you know, just get like the full money's worth out of it, I guess you could say. It's just a good cover-up piece. It truly is all about the transitional pieces this time of year. You know, you need a lot of dual purpose pieces. Cold at night, warm during the day, it just truly messes us all up. Next up is the Banana Republic top. I feel like I've worn this in so many videos. It has truly served its worth to me. I just love the neckline on it. I did a whole video about 90s essentials and 90s minimalism, and I felt like this was one of my favorite pieces because of the neckline. It just captures that like, 90s minimalist essence that I was truly going for. And this has very quickly become a staple in my wardrobe. There are just not enough words to describe how much I love finding good Banana Republic and J. Crew pieces at the thrift store. It is just, it's one of those like unmatched feelings. This is the classic shirt by Gap. I have been wanting to collect some pretty solid white button downs. As soon as I moved to Florida, I mastered that concept. I really have been finding some good quality, just crisp white button downs that I have really enjoyed adding into my wardrobe. Again, it's this time of year that these looks become so essential because of the layering aspect and then also the functionality of it. So if it's cold, you wear the sleeves down. If it's hot, you roll them up and boom. Something that is just like the old faithful, something that you need when you're just not in the mood to really put together an outfit, but you know you still wanna look good walking out the door. It's like the white button down. It's just, you know, it's a classic. It's foolproof, it's been done. So you always know how to do it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do them all at the same time. Cause when I say white button downs, have just been a thing for me lately. Like I legit mean it's a thing. I've just been seeking out like the perfect white button down shirt. Uh, Divided by H&M, this one, I just recently thrifted this, but I have worn it over and over again. Again, such a good piece that works as a cover up as well. Like I cannot recommend enough getting 
a long line oversized shirt that you can wear as a jacket too. Uniqlo, another good one. I love this brand. I thrifting brand new. I will like scream from the rooftops how much Uniqlo is such a good quality basic piece to have in your wardrobe. Because I'm a thrifter, I always try and find them before I buy them brand new. But to me, sometimes you just gotta take the plunge and like buy the pieces brand new because they are that good. And then last but not least, another Banana Republic. I actually have this in two different colors. Both of these fits, I really enjoy the pleating on it and kind of the gauzy finish. I think that's one of the most important things to look for when you're going for more of like a relaxed, polished look. The cotton gauze is the way to go, especially in the warmer climates. Okay, that does it for white button downs. Now let's talk about my striped button down. Uh, this is from Banana Republic, thrifted of course, but yeah, I've had so many different variations of the blue striped button down. And so far, I think this one has to be my favorite. I think this being like the lighter blue, and I know how particular that sounds. Like we're getting into the nuance of these like very specific color tones, but there was something to be said about having like a lighter blue and a lighter white or more of a crispy white for styling in the springtime feel. Like the other one just felt like it was a little bit too dark to use for that spring color tone. This one I think has to be one of my favorite additions. If you saw me last year go through the struggle with denim skirts, they were something that I revolted against and then finally fell in love with and then realized so quickly that finding them at the thrift store was going to be a little difficult. Because they really shot up so fast on the trend list, I kind of missed my window on thrifting really good denim skirts. But I did recently find this unique low piece that has proven to be such a good addition to my wardrobe. It's the perfect length and it's the perfect bell out. I think that's my favorite aspect of this skirt is how it kind of just like bells out at the end. It's not a straight line. It has a very unique fit to it. I personally tend to stay away from very beige outfits because a lot of times it makes me look like I'm naked. <laughs> Like I could not wear tight fitting beige pants because people are gonna be like, does that girl have any pants on from far away? It just does not work for me. So this I felt like was slightly darker of a color tone that I could pull off. And uh, also it not being pants, it being a skirt also worked for me. Hopefully people far away do not think that I'm naked. This I thrifted a while back. Again, I think this was like one of those half off items that I was just like, why is this still here? But this is a classic St. John knit. Unfortunately with St. John, you always have to know that like some of the older pieces, so like this was probably from the 1990s based on the label. You always have to know that like there's gonna be a little bit of nibble marks. There's always gonna be like a little bit of wear and tear on it. And unfortunately there is just, you know, a small little nibble mark on the back that I'm just gonna have to constantly be aware of. But that's just one of those things that like, it's the joy of thrifting that like, you gotta do a little bit of extra work to really make these like last as long as you possibly can. St. John, man, I have owned or sold some of the coolest pieces from St. John. A lot of people think of it as like a career wear piece, but I think if you can break apart some of the St. John sets, which I know to some people is like blasphemy, but seriously, if you can break some of these pieces apart, like this probably came with a blazer and a skirt and like was the whole shebang. But this piece on its own is such a beautiful, like just classic tank top, but has a very different fit to it. I know you guys are probably getting a little bit of lily silk fatigue lately, but I just have to say this is one of those like versatile favorite pieces that I like, any chance I can add it into my outfit combinations, I do. And any chance I can wear this by itself, it is just, oh, it's such, it's such a good piece. Just a classic vest in general. Like we're talking like the 90s classic vest. That is a piece that I cannot recommend enough. If there's anything that you are seeking out or trying to add to kind of finalize your spring summer wardrobe, a vest is it. I just, I truly think it is such a polished look. It's such a classic look. And it's one of those things that if you get the right fit to it, it's never gonna go out of style. You can always wear it as a top. Okay, next up is slacks and trouser pants. Now, again, this is something that like, during the springtime, you really have to be methodical about it. It's not something you can grab and go with like a long white button down t-shirt. You gotta kind of balance it out. This with like a black t-shirt, white t-shirt, however you wanna do it, however you wanna rock it. Slacks are just such a good, again, uniform piece. These are my Kenzo trouser pants. 
Um, they're in navy blue. I am so glad if you watched my closet clean out, this was one of those items that I was like deliberating on. Like I was like, do I, do I keep it? Do I sell it? I didn't know what I wanted to do with this piece. When I was such a frequent bin shopper, um, I used to go to the Goodwill bins like all the time, almost on a daily basis. Didn't really like wearing pieces like this because I wanted something that was more utility and uh, like, you know, just very, um, durable like I needed durable clothing um, but now that I'm going to the thrift stores again a lot more often I am very much okay with wearing something that it's a little bit more dressed up like a little bit more polished a little bit more I don't want to say effort put into it but I definitely want to say like maybe a little bit more thought put into it uh, and I do feel like trouser pants are serving me very well out here so again Albums by Kenzo. This is a vintage label, vintage brand. And then these are just classic Zara pants. Again, I thrifted these. If you saw my last thrift video, uh, I'll leave it linked somewhere around here. But this was such a good score. Zara white Bermuda shorts. Did I think I would ever own this many Zara pieces? No, probably not. I have pretty much come to the stage in my life where I only enjoy putting Bermuda into my category. I don't wear short shorts anymore. They're just not my vibe. They're not my jam. I'm at the age now where like, you know, I got I got some spider maidens going on and I don't really like to show them off very often. So having something that is a Bermuda length is very important to me. But I also especially like a Bermuda length that again, kind of juts out at the end. There is something about that, like just like little extra flair that just adds a totally different element to the outfit. Bermuda shorts for me, I think because I grew up in the generation where like they were considered mom shorts. Like, you know, you had the kind of like frumpy high wasted like there just was something that was totally off about those 1980s Bermuda shorts it's very difficult to find a good pair of denim shorts that don't fall into that category and I think having that little extra flair on the end is what makes the difference for me it takes it from feeling that like kind of frumpy edge to a little bit more of like a modernized edge and I appreciate that these Zara trouser pants thrifted a while back have easily become my most worn pair of trousers uh, they don't have any pockets though, which really bums me out about that. I do think finding something high-waisted and a little bit of a flare, kick flare to them with pockets would have been the ideal situation, but sometimes you gotta take what you can get. Next, let's get into the shorts category and go figure, they're striped. Can you guys believe this? Like, who am I? What is going on with stripes in my life? The boxer shorts, man, they have been everywhere lately and I'm really glad that I got my hands on these when I did. I mean, this is such an easy outfit. Like, throw a white t-shirt on over it, you're good to go. But there is a lot more opportunity that I think can be had with these. And I'm just excited that these are now in addition to my wardrobe. And again, they're the longer length, you know? They have that like, kind of boxer fit to them, but they are the longer Bermuda size. And I actually really like that they kind of fit me a little bit oversized. So they just have that like kind of slump factor to them, but they also still have those like resort vacation wear vibes to them as well. Okay, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight into my little capsule wardrobe over here. Uh, these are just pieces that I can't stop wearing. They have been on repeat and I love them so, so much. Thanks as always for watching and hanging out with me today. And if you guys are new around here, I might have a couple extra videos for you right here and right here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.